Hi guys, it's Luke from George Media and we've made it here to Jumanji at Chessington World Adventure for the, not the official open day because unfortunately I couldn't make it, but I have managed to make it here to World of Jumanji. So come on with me and let's go for a walk around. I mean, the one thing I do like about this area already is the theming. I mean, the theming and the music really tie in well. They've done a really good job. So also guys, just to let you know, there is a virtual ride system. You can't actually go on it unless you book a virtual ride first. I'm not sure how long that's going to stay here at Chessington, but maybe they'll change it in the future. I understand that they've only got one car, so they can't keep going forwards and around all the time, but look at that for a, for a view behind you. What a coaster. And then also we have some flat rides around here as well, which are permanent flat rides. It's nice to see. They've not gone for like what Alton Towers did with the Retro Classic. They've actually gone full whack normal soft rides as well which is really good to see here at Chesterton World of Adventure. Now again, so here we go, bit of off shot footage for you, bit of off, off shot, <laughs> bit of off footage ride for you here at Jumanji going around. Okay, So then everybody, I've finally booked on the app. Like I was saying, you've got to actually book this ride. You can't just turn up and go on it, which is a bit of a shame, but I understand the reason behind it, that what Chessington have done, because if you just had everybody flooding this queue line to go on this ride behind me, it'll be absolutely so hard to get everybody on because there's only one train. Now, my ride is actually booked and I've currently got 21 minutes and five seconds until I managed to get on this ride. Now, I'm actually really looking forward to it. But again, stay in the area because if it's on your mobile, it's on the website as well. So you, if you lose connection, it's probably going to be really hard to re-preserve another ride because you've got to wait yet again. But uh, I'll try and get some off-ride footage for you of Jumanji. But while we're actually here, let's go and have a look at another flat rides as well because they've really done an amazing job with the area around here. And it just looks incredible. I mean, if this is the way that Merlin Entertainments are going, there is some massive prospect in the future, but here we go. ride this ride um, it's very slow operation at the minute because they only do have one train for this ride so I can really understand why Chessington World of Adventures went with the virtual uh, virtual queue because ideally uh, down here you really wouldn't want everybody queuing all the way around because it'll just cause a bottleneck in the park but actually looking at this sculpture behind me wow what an achievement the first roller coaster in the world of this type here at Chessington World. Now, if this is the way Merlin is going to go, I can't wait to see what else they actually do for this roller coaster. It's just absolutely incredible. So I'll try not to get in a ring. There we go. Stay there, stay there, stay there.
So we have just been allowed to join the virtual queue here at Kamal the Ride at Chessington. So I'm looking forward to this ride. It's the first ever time ever going on this roller coaster. Never been right before. Now, obviously the operations at the park, people are getting really upset because they keep coming up to the queue line and then just being turned away. Now, I totally understand that. But at the same time, everybody has to respect the fact that this is a one-track coaster. There isn't more than one coaster, it's only two. But uh, let's have a look at the theme around here. It looks absolutely incredible. I like the music. I hope this isn't a copyrighted music either. I really hope it's not, but... I mean, if I wait here, I've got some great ride, ride shot here. Let's wait for the uh, coaster to come around, but guys, the theming in this, in this theme park is absolutely incredible, I must admit. I really am excited for this ride. Let's hope it lives up to expectation, even though, even though there's only one ride. So basically, I'm gonna book it again because the moment you come off, you might as well book it again and get another one. <laughs> so we're currently waiting in the queue line. I mean, the queue line is getting fairly big. If I can spin you around here, I'll show you the queue line behind. It's bigger. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the virtual queue line personally because then obviously if you're here at the park then you come in and then like you want to go on it straight away, you can't have to wait 20 minutes. I'm not personally a fan of that. But we'll see how it goes, but a little tip for you. When you've gone in the queue line, book a next ride straight away because while you're waiting for the timer to count down, then also when your reservation is ready, you've got an extra 45 minutes. So that is a bit of a tip for you if you're coming here. around the area is so good as well like even the way that they've done the uh, number plate of this as well it's really really well done and um, yeah more updates when we get to the actual queue line and station but oh it's actually got something on the uh, start as well so let's actually try and find out what it says I'll be back in 10 minutes wow I must admit as well I also like the music they use as well So guys, I've just come off the ride. What an excellent one it was as well. Definitely prefer the back seat. Back seat is the best seat, but I can't complain at the front either. The front is fairly whippy as well. But let's have a look at some of the uh, merchandise they have here. I like the theming of they've uh, got the mer Oh, look at these mugs. Really nice. Must admit, I do like, Oh, to say these are brand new. That's a nice mug, I'm not gonna lie. I might have to get one of them. Guys, Mandrel Mayhem, what a ride that was. I'm going now for my second time. A little tip for you here, guys, as well. Oh, let's see if I'm going to go to It is coming. Look at that for some off-ride footage. Well, yes, as I'm saying, guys, sit at number seven on the back such a good ride on number seven but now i am actually going to try the seat next to it to see what the other seat feels like uh, just want to also let you guys know i am returning to alton towers on the 27th for nemesis subterra never been on that ride either and i actually can't wait to try that ride out it's going to be something amazing i hope it's going to be really good so i've just been to visit the jumanji world been on the new ride kamal my rating of that ride was absolutely incredible. I can't rate it enough. I just, you think you're gonna be disappointed, but you gotta give it a go 
to see what it's actually like. I mean, that ride is incredible. Still gobsmacked even to now. And I know I've been mentioning it quite a bit, but I just want to say that uh, Alton Towers vlog is going to be coming as well very soon with um, Nemesis Subterra reopening on the 27th. So make sure you stick around for that vlog as well, because on the 27th, we are going back to Alton Towers as well. So then guys, we're now heading on towards the Cobra. There is a 20 minute rate for this ride, but uh, first time riding, let's have a look at the maximum height as well. Maximum height for this ride is 1.2 meters. So yeah, let's give it a go and let's see how it uh, rides. I must say that other ride is still blowing out. And look at the track for this ride. It's one of them spinning rides. So I don't know how it's going to react with me because I don't really do spinning rides, but we'll see. finished being on Cobra I'm now heading back to Mandrel Mayhem because we have literally got another booking made and that's the thing about the virtual queue you can explore different parts of the park while your queue is waiting so I'm now back off there and I'm also going to try Vampire as well because I can't not come here and not try Vampire but I mean so far I like the layout I like the theming I mean it's so much better than towers and it's smaller and compact so there's not a lot more walking than I thought to be fair because it's all virtually next to each other so we are now heading over to go check it out oh, I can't I mean I don't know what the queue line is going to be like I mean the virtual queue line is ready for me to go on pardon stay on the left. oh cool just getting told to stay on the left as there is a tractor coming down here Oh, I wonder what's, uh, wonder what's occurring here. No worries. Security's going to take me away. So they have like a tractor. I don't know what they've been doing. Might have been power washing something. But what we came here for today is mandrel mayhem. Let's do this again. And the queue is dead. There is no queue here at mandrel mayhem. So let's get on it. And again, I do like this QR system, but there's only one thing. And I'll tell you that in just a second when I get through the queue line. So that's basically you do basically you do the virtual queue on your phone and then you arrive through the queue line But make sure that you do it 20 minutes before you've got to wait 22 minutes Before it allows you to join the queue now the best thing is he's just scanned my code now. Let's see There we go again Now I've just joined the queue right and it says even though I've just scanned it on the phone It says that I can join again straight away. So Maybe when the park's dead, you don't just get more than one. You can re as many times as you like. Let's try it. It's really weird because it says you can reserve it, which you do. Ah, so you've got 14 minutes, so you might as well reserve it for 22. And then when you're off-ride, then jump it to the front. So it's 15 minutes and 26 seconds to join on the queue. And it says there's some room available in front of the queue. So join it normally and then you get an, you get by 157 to redeem it anyway. But when you come off the ride, 
redeem it again. Skip straight to the front. How good is that? Sweet. So then guys, we're now heading towards Vampire. It's saying there's a 20 minute wait for this ride, but um, according to the app, it's 20 minutes, but we'll try and find a way around. I must admit, I do like this park layout. The park layout is very helpful. And um, I think we go through Wild Woods. That's a shipwreck cove, which we're at now, so I'm guessing Vampire is through wild woods. Oh, I love it. What a day to have come as well, like the weather. It's been red hot here today. River ride adventure, I don't feel like getting too wet today. That's not gonna happen. Let's head. Even though there's a five minute queue for the river ride, it's not too bad. Got the Gruffalo shop. Is this the way? I wanted to find the vampire and I certainly have found it. It's right beside us, so we're going to go uh, take a look on vampire now. Uh, join the queue. Let's join the queue for vampire. the vibes here so far but the queue line is bigger than I imagined it would be I mean the smiler the smiler at Alton Towers is not as even as big as this queue line but again Alton Towers is more of a cattle pen that brings me throwback to 13 a bit there 13 vibes but then again this ride was inspired by uh, John Wardley as we all know uh, the creator so Spooky vibes. <laughs> Another ghostly figure. This on Halloween must be incredible. Please wait, Riv. So just to clarify, you have to be 1.1 and 1.3 meters tall to ride this ride, guys. Just to clarify that to anybody that's never been here before. And now we are going down. It's like a cave into his chasm. Wow, it gets dark and it gets very low down here as well. So mind your head as you come through. So then guys, just to let you know, it does actually go through to a pre-show here. Now I might be able to get some footage of this pre-show. For any of you guys that have not seen it, bear in mind I've never been on this ride before, but loads of people have said that this ride is absolutely incredible. And it really, this ride apparently also put Chessington on the map because it was that popular that when they came in and did this ride, it really did make people flood to this park. I'm... Wow, what I must say for one, this is an extremely different station that I've ever imagined I'll ever come across. I mean, here's the actual train. I don't know if you can see the train, but it's already over there. The ambience in this room is like pitch black. Looking forward to this one. Never ridden it. Really, I'm looking forward to it. Wow, I hope. So yeah, guys, Vampire the Ride. It's really amazing. I'm not going to lie. I really did enjoy it more than what I thought I would. Definitely a classic of um, Chessington World of Adventures. I think that was one of the first ever major roller coasters to arrive here, proper roller coasters to arrive here at Chessington and it really put it on the map. So uh, guys, we're now heading off to Croc Drop, which it doesn't seem to be many people at Croc Drop at the moment, which is good and obviously, Danger Mouse looks quite good as well. Not many people queuing for it. I might give that a go last. Or do I give it a go now? In fact, we'll go there now. Because
because by the time I've got to round to crop drop and got back again, there'll be already a bit of a queue, so let's go. So rattlesnake guys. This is a first for me as well. Really nice queue line. I don't know the way. Guessing it's this way, so we'll go this way. Wow, there's a lot of stairs on Rattlesnake. And another thing, I'm so glad that my camera has decided to hold battery life for a change. Not even had to switch the batteries out yet, which is pretty incredible. Wow, look at this, the fact that oh, the ride goes through the queue. That's pretty neat, I like that. The fact that the ride goes through the queue line. Snakes. Oh, there's some nice scent pods here as well. I've just noticed that. So through the queue line, there's, there's some scent pods behind us. So if you do come here, it feels, it smells like an old rustic vibe. Uh, but let's see if I can get you some off-ride footage here. So then guys, Rattlesnake, what a ride, very, um, very different, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but now let's head over to uh, Croc Drop instead, I mean, it was okay. It reminds me of a bit like um, Wild Mouse, I don't, know if that, I don't know if you guys remember Wild Mouse, but it reminds me of that, very much so. But we are going to go back towards uh, Croc Drop. Hopefully the operation is a bit better than it was earlier because earlier it didn't really get a, a decent feel for Croc Drop but let's hope they've changed it a little bit more. But I mean look at look at the architecture, I mean that, the way that it looks, it's it's absolutely insane. A lot of school kids here today as well. Well that's not a problem. We'll head round the queue line. We'll head on towards. We'll head on towards Croc Drop. I love the theming around this park. I must admit. But yeah, Croc Drop guys. points out something to you guys that I've also found as well. Dropping chicken. Wow. <laughs> what a name. So then, guys, that is me now leaving Chessington World of Adventure. I might pop back here tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, might come back again. Stop at a Premier Inn because that, that hotel behind us is very expensive for what you get. It's unbelievable. 178 pounds, guys. I'm not stopping at the Ritz. Like, Jesus. So anyway, my time has come to an end here at Chessington World of Adventure. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. Oh my God, fluff on my keys. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.